at the 2019 Abu Dhabi Defense Exhibition in the United Arab Emirates, Strike Group showcased the Fire Lizard amphibious armored vehicle, described as a versatile armored vehicle that can be widely used in military and civilian fields to carry out peacekeeping and flood rescue missions, among others. The vehicle looks like a square brick. The Fire Lizard is an 8x8 wheeled armored vehicle, and many people do not believe that it is a new development from Strike Group. They believe it is actually a modified vehicle based on the BTR-80 armored personnel carrier, with an additional shell on the chassis of the latter. This suspicion is not unreasonable, as the chassis of both vehicles are very similar. The front of the Fire Lizard is the driver's cab, but it is equipped with almost vertical bulletproof glass windows, allowing the driver to visually observe the front situation more intuitively, rather than relying on periscopes or opening the front armored compartment as in the BTR-80. The middle section of the vehicle is the passenger compartment, which, according to the company's official website, can accommodate eight fully armed soldiers. Similar to the BTR-80, passengers enter and exit through the doors on both sides of the vehicle, but the larger body should provide a more comfortable seating experience and easier access. In the rear, the engine compartment houses a 6.7-liter turbocharged diesel engine, capable of producing 300 horsepower. When traveling on water, the vehicle moves forward using water jets at the rear, although it is unclear how maneuverable the vehicle is. The company's official website does not provide any information, but some articles claim that it can reach a maximum speed of 10 km per hour on water, similar to the BTR-80. The protection of the Fire Lizard is average, as it provides NATO Level 3 standard protection, capable of withstanding 7.62 by 51 mm ammunition from 30 meters away, and can withstand 8 kg of explosive underneath the vehicle. This level of protection is sufficient for peacekeeping missions and armored personnel transport, but increasing the protection of the vehicle seems difficult. The large vertical structure would require additional protection equipment, which would increase the burden on the chassis and affect stability, especially when traveling on water. In terms of weapon configuration, the prototype vehicle at the weapons exhibition was equipped with a small remote weapon station, which mounted a 7.62mm machine gun and a grenade launcher. It should be possible to replace these with other configurations if necessary, a technical challenge that the strike group is capable of handling. Currently, the Fire Lizard is still being marketed by Strike Group, but this unremarkable equipment has not attracted the attention of potential customers, and there is no publicly available order information to date.